Today we are going to be talking about how to train like Goldilocks. What up, what up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about a concept called training like Goldilocks, okay? Now, what does this mean? Have you ever heard the story, like me, when I was a little young lad, okay? Goldilocks is basically some girl goes into the woods. All right, <laughs> I didn't rehearse the story. I, didn't, I don't remember much of it. Okay, she goes into the woods. She goes into some houses of bears and she um, finds like oatmeal or something. And you know, there's a uh, one that's too hot, one that's too cold. And she eats the one that's just right because too hot, Tongue's on fire, she dies, end of story. Okay, too cold, she doesn't get full, she starves, she dies, ends of story. But if she eats the one that's just right, the story continues and life is good, okay? To build muscle, you gotta train like Goldilocks. I don't know which category you fall into, but a lot of people don't train like Goldilocks, therefore they don't see the results they want, okay? You could be the person that goes super crazy and does a ton of volume, you know, the you know, bro, chest day, back day, arm day, whatever, and just hammers like 50 sets a workout on a body part and you just go crazy on every single body part. And what ends up happening is at a certain point, the adaptation is too much, okay? If you put too much of a stress on your body at a certain point, you get diminish diminishing returns, meaning you need to work at the perfect level. You need to provide the perfect volume, intensity, and frequency. If you go beyond that, you start to lose your potential gains to where um, if you're doing way too much volume, you end up overtraining and not seeing any results at all. Now, on the contrary, if you barely provide a stimulus, if you barely provide any stress to your body, it does not have a reason to grow. And so if you're someone that bench presses 135 this year and you still bench press 135 next year, most likely your body's not gonna grow. You need to increase the weight over time. And so there's a balance you need. You can't just train like crazy. That's like Goldilocks eating the oatmeal that's too hot. And you can't train like a wimp. That's like Goldilocks eating the oatmeal that's too cold. You gotta train right in the middle. Now, for my clients, you know, we monitor intensity, volume, frequency, and a number of other factors, okay? But if you're not working with me, you can download my Making Muscle Beginner's Guide if you're interested. It has a general guideline for frequency, um, volume, intensity. It also has a nutrition guide to build muscle. And so it's completely free for download. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Peace.